Hello and welcome. This brief presentation video aims to introduce companies and their service providers to the basic structure of the accountability framework and how it can be applied on the three stages of the ethical supply chain journey, setting commitments, taking action, and demonstrating progress on ethical supply chain commitments. The ethical supply chain journey is a useful analogy for understanding the steps that companies can take to achieve ethical supply chains that protect forests and other natural ecosystems and respect human rights. The journey structure also helps you to know where to find relevant guidance in the accountability framework. The journey consists of three stages. First, set commitments. Are you working to refresh an existing commitment or to set a new commitment? What elements should commitments include? Next, take action. What activities, systems, and processes are necessary for effective implementation of commitments? And then demonstrate progress. Once your company has begun implementing its commitments, how can progress be monitored, verified, and reported? Before we look at applying the framework, it will be helpful to understand how it is structured. The best place to start is the core principles. These provide a high-level summary of the entire framework, including the elements that a good commitment should include and commonly accepted norms on how to implement, monitor, and demonstrate progress on ethical supply chains. Next, you can review the operational guidance, which provides specific and practical details on putting everything into practice. The operational guidance covers specific challenges and situations common to supply chains, such as addressing traceability issues, managing non-compliant suppliers, or establishing new development with minimal impact on people and nature. And then at any stage in this process, you can refer to the terms and definitions for clarification of the consensus-based definitions for key concepts that appear in the framework. This helps to make sure that everyone is talking about the same thing when setting out to achieve ethical supply chains. Next, let's look at pulling this all together. How to apply the framework on the ethical supply chain journey. At each stage of the journey, there are a number of related activities. For example, in this first stage of setting commitments, one of the activities is to determine the content of no deforestation and no conversion commitments. In other words, check to ensure that your commitment includes the right elements for protecting natural ecosystems. The first step in this activity is to review Core Principle 1, which covers this topic. Next, you can refer to these operational guidance documents for further detail and refer to relevant definitions throughout. Repeat this for the other two activities at this stage of setting commitments, determining the content of human rights commitments and specifying commitments in a clear, strong, and credible manner. The next stage of the journey is to take action to implement commitments. These are a sampling of the seven activities at this stage. You can follow the same process as with the last stage, first reviewing the related core principles and then using the operational guidance to put it into practice. Note that not every activity is relevant to every company or context. However, it's worth reviewing the activities to assess which might be most relevant to you. The third stage of the journey is to demonstrate progress your company makes toward achieving its commitments. As before, for each activity, first refer to the related core principle, and then use the operational guidance and definitions for more detail. For more information on using the framework on the ethical supply chain journey, please refer to the AFI's online platform, which has an interactive tool with specific questions for each activity that can guide you to relevant sections of the framework. Likewise, you can find more detail in the Intro to the Ethical Supply Chain Journey PDF resource, available for download in the Resources section of the online platform. We hope you found this brief introduction helpful. More videos and other resources are available on the Accountability Framework's online platform at www.accountability-framework.org. You can also subscribe to our mailing list and follow us on Twitter for updates on additional resources as they're released. Thanks. See you next time.